Dequer Vans Ten So Novitis. If that's how you pronounce it. Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day and I just can't get it pronounced right, but an interesting name. But a couple of months ago, I started having really bad pain in my wrist. Just thought I would let it rest. I, I was working at the gym and it hurt and I had to stop working out and I thought I just injured myself with weights. And uh, it was right around uh, that time, maybe a couple weeks earlier, I was hiking with a group or crossing a stream and I lost my footing, put my hand down and I hurt my wrist. And wow, it uh, definitely has taken quite a long time to heal. I wanted to share with you if you are suffering from pain in your wrist and you are suffering from the same thing, what I am doing to use that's helped me thus far getting along with the recovery. I'm probably about 85 to 90 percent better. Uh, one of the things I noticed in the morning as well when I would move my 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 finger, and this was the test, by the way, uh, for what I have. If you grab your hand over your thumb and you could feel that pain, then you know you have, and I, so I, I'm not gonna mispronounce it. So anyway, I'll, I'll put a link to what they call it in the description. And I love any comments. Uh, if you're dealing with that, how it's worked for you, what you've done to treat it, and if this might be of help, also please like this video and subscribe to my channel. But one of the things I noticed as well is I was getting like a clicking uh, sound. And so finally, I went to a physical therapist in my office building and he told me this is what I have and that's how I discovered it. And I said, yes, that's it. And he said that the ligaments uh, is the reason why you're hearing that and feeling that clicking sound. And so it just takes quite a while, uh, you know, to let it heal. Uh, I thought I was going to need to get some x-rays, but he uh, said that wouldn't be necessary. So first, I uh, just wanted to uh, share with you, if you're suffering from this, this um, uh, you're not alone, and it does take some time. It could take several months, depending upon how severe you injured yourself. So first, let me show you a couple of exercises that he showed me uh, as I recorded those, and they might be of help. So Watch this here, and then I'll be back and show you about some of the things that I'm using as well. So enjoy. This is called opposition. This is how slow you do it. You do 10 reps for now, but I want you to work up to 50 a day. You control how much resistance by how far out this other hand is. So you do opposition, then you do palmer adduction. No particular order. We're just going to do 10 today. Below, and you're going to go toward the ceiling. So, notice my left hand is not, you, it would be your right hand, it's not moving. What's moving is my rubber band. And then the hardest one is abduction because this is the one that hurts you. So, you're going to ease up and you're going to do 10 of those. All will get better, but this will be the last one to get normal. So, again, opposition, that one, toward the hand. The first one is toward the pinky, this is toward the index finger a few of those. Toward the ceiling, there's four, four of them, and the last one is out to the side, in which case you make it easy and doable. Ten reps now, twelve reps tomorrow. Keep on building up. I'm going to start with ten reps. You're going to bring your thumb toward your base of your pinky ten times, again, without hurting. So you may not be able to go as far as I'm going at first. Ten of those. Then ten straight down to the index finger. Squeeze and pinch. Right? And then 10 on the side of the thumb and the side of the index finger. I'll do that again. So opposition means across, like that, straight up and down, and then from the side. And this is the one you probably feel the most. You only get three on this one. The ball can't be used for the try. Okay, so those are uh, some exercises that you can use. Uh, this was the rubber band that he gave me and the ball. Uh, now, I didn't buy them. He gave them to me. So you want to get some kind of foam ball. I'll see if I could find uh, a link to one uh, as well as uh, a rubber band. Uh, see if I could, could find a exercise rubber band as well um, and put a link to that. So one of the suggestions that he had made was get some KT tape. 
This is the version of the KT tape. I will put a link in the description for you. It does come with this blister prevention tape and they do, uh, these rolls come in strips by the way. Uh, so I have been using it. I'm not currently using it. Um, just um, using this uh, a wrist brace and I'll talk more about that in here in a minute. But uh, this is the KT tape. It comes in strips. And then uh, as you can see here in the photo, I put it right along my side of my wrist. And then what I've done is on the top of my thumb, I cut it on the top uh, more than I did in the photo. So it doesn't uh, get in the way for the bottom of the palm of your hand. Uh, and I found that it lasts a couple of days with even getting wet and staying on and then just peeling off. You do want to make sure you don't uh, put it on too tight where you're stretching it. Just put it on and that's supposed to help. So you got your ball, you got your rubber band. Then we uh, talked about a TENS unit. Uh, I will put uh, a link to this TENS unit as well as my review. It's a really nice one. It's, I got it a couple years ago to review. Uh, it's very small. And what I like about it is that you can put up to four pads uh, on the your body part. So uh, it does come with uh, two sets of wires and then you put it on and then you've got multiple different options uh, as far as uh, to use. So this was another one that I used and it's a very strong pulse. So you don't even have to have it go that high for where you really uh, needed to feel. Now, before I even went to the physical therapist, I was in the store and I was like, well, let me see what they have to give support. Let me see if I can keep this up. Uh, this is the Ace wrist brace. It's a reversible splint. So you can use this on your left or right hand and I'll show that to you. Uh, it's very comfortable to wear. You know, it may take you a little time to get uh, comfortable with it. This is a level, uh, support level two, very affordable. I mean, it's, uh, I don't know, 10, 10 11 bucks. Uh, but it's Velcro, you can hand wash it, and it dries very quickly. So let me show you first how uh, easy it is to put on, and then we'll put on for the left hand as well. So just like this, and, and I find that this has worked really well for me. Now, depending upon the severity of your issue, you may need um, some other options. So I'll put some other a link to some other options for uh, wrist supports as well. And then it's got the metal metal piece that goes right in here along the wrist. So uh, this will give you an idea and this has worked real well. I noticed when I didn't have it on or sometimes if I don't have it on even now, this uh, earlier today was bothering me. So I put it on and it gives a nice level of support. I was out writing the other day and my wrist was really bothering me. So I put it on. So this is the piece that goes in there now. Uh, the way it would work is for the left hand, like this, there is an actual, there's two spots that you can actually see. So you've got this side here, and this is for the left hand, and this is for the right hand. So the left, you just put this in there like this, and make sure I put that in right. And yep, so then you could put it on this way for your left hand. So if you hurt your left wrist, then you uh, can put it there. Now, uh, I needed a second one and I didn't want to order and wait. So I found another one like this in the store. Uh, so we've got Ace and we've got the Futuro. So I'll put a link to both. Really the same thing. Uh, you can really see there's... Um, probably the same manufacturer and they just rebranded it with their label. So you could see the Futuro has got their label, Ace has got theirs, and I just uh, sw sw switch off. Uh, and I may actually use these for a little while when I go hiking, especially uh, when, I, when I go to the water, just to protect my wrists and uh, just for, you know, mentally just peace of mind and just to make sure I don't re-injure it. And even for my left wrist, I don't want to injure my left wrist. So there you go. So wanted to just share some of these things that I'm doing. Uh, my suggestion is if you do have this injury, don't push it. If you uh, are doing weights, I've had to stop doing upper body weights. I've just been focusing on my legs and cardio and just taking as much um, off of the wrist as possible. Obviously during the day, even typing, you know, that probably aggravates it a little bit, but I have found that's helped. I also take ibuprofen. 
So I would recommend uh, getting some liquid ibuprofen as well. I'll put a link to that. And, uh, and then you can also try some ice if you feel that might help. Uh, and as far as uh, anything else that I could think of, I'll put a link for some other products. Uh, there is another product that I, I roll on as well that might help there. So uh, check it out today and let me know if you have any questions. Uh, but these are all different ways that you can use to treat it. And again, I'll put a link uh, as I find these different products. So hopefully it can help you. All right, everybody, have a great day. Hope your wrist becomes pain free. I'm getting closer, thank goodness. And, um, you know, give it some time. Don't go rushing to get an x ray. Uh, hopefully, this video helps you to know, it gives you a little peace of mind. It's just going to take some time and you will get better. We will. Just got to give it some time. All right, everybody, have a healthy day. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Take care.